my only homies and fellow NFT collectors. It's the beginning of a new year, so once again, you're going to hear people in the community start to talk about taxes. I'm not an accountant, so I can't tell you what you're supposed to claim and what you're not supposed to claim. But I often have the NFT tax guy on my channel to talk about what needs to be claimed and what doesn't need to be claimed. And I'm going to show some information from him at the end of the video. But the video is mostly intended to show you how to obtain your CSV file from VV. And that's going to help you a lot no matter what you decide to do with your taxes. So first off, I wanted to explain what CSV files are. They're very common. They stand for comma separated values, and that's exactly what they are. They're text files with the data separated by commas so that they can be easily imported into spreadsheet program like Excel or Google Sheets. And we're going to use Google Sheets today. And I'm going to show you how to import your CSV file into your spreadsheet so that you can get all the information you need. So let's get started. First up, as I mentioned in a recent VMate tutorial video, you can retrieve your CSV file by downloading it from the omi.vv.me web wallet. You'll simply go to that website and log in like normal, click on your wallet, and then at the top right, you're going to see a button there to download your CSV file. If you're like me and a lot of other people, your transaction history is too long and you get an error when you try to download your CSV file from that website. And if that happens to you, all you need to do is go into the vb.me website and put in a support ticket and let them know that you want your CSV file and they'll send it to your email within a couple days. So now that you have your CSV file, you'll want to import it into a spreadsheet so that you can read it clearly. And if you don't have a spreadsheet, then you can use the link in the description to my CSV spreadsheet on Google Sheets. And from there, you can just click on file and then new spreadsheet. And now you have your own spreadsheet. So from here, you'll just click file again. And then this time you're going to click import and you're going to navigate to that CSV file that you just downloaded by going to the upload tab and clicking on browse. Your CSV file should be named something about your VV account name, that person's transaction, just like mine is Braylon's dad's transactions. My account name on VV is Braylon's dad. Once you load that up, you're going to use all the default settings and just click import data. And once that CSV file imports into your spreadsheet, you'll now have all of the transactions since you started collecting on the VV app and you can do a lot with this. All right, so if you're using Google Sheets, the first thing I suggest that you do is go back into this file menu and rename your Google Sheet to something like My CSV. And then you might want to bookmark that file so that you can come back to that Google Sheet at any time you need to. We're going to make a copy whenever we start manipulating this information. So you want to have your original copy saved and even bookmarked so you can get back to it without having to re-import that CSV file every time. So now that we have our original CSV file imported into the spreadsheet, we're going to click on this top left square right here, this blank square, then right click and copy all of this data right here because we're going to do some manipulating. We might want to delete all of the transactions that are from before 2022 so that we can just narrow it down to one particular year for tax purposes. So we're going to copy all of that data. We're going to create a new spreadsheet. An untitled spreadsheet you can uh, title this if you want to keep track of it call it my CSV number two but on your new spreadsheet if you go back up to that top left blank box and click on it once then right click and paste you'll now have all your information in this second spreadsheet as well if you have a long transaction history like me you probably take a while to paste that CSV file over into the new spreadsheet just be patient here and now that we have it one thing we can do is separate this B column from A to Z and scroll down to the P category and then you can see all of the payouts that you've made and you can do a quick calculation. I'm not going to show you too many functions for the spreadsheets because I know those are hard to remember but I'll show you this one. This is one that's important to remember. Let's say I want to find out what all of my payouts, how much I've paid out to myself since I've started on VV. Uh, one thing I could do here is just pick a random cell and use this function equal sign sum SUM all capital letters then just click on the button itself and grab all, all of those payouts, hit enter, and you'll have your total there. It looks like I've paid out 3,355 gems. Another thing you can do from here is scroll up and find how many gems you've purchased from the store. So I'm gonna scroll back up here to the G column and look for gem purchases. Now I got all the gem purchases that I've made since I've started on the app. So I'm gonna click a random cell over here and I'm gonna use that same function, equal sign, capital S-U-M. Click on the button and then drag all of these gem purchases that I've made 
hit enter one time and you'll have a total looks like I've purchased 3675 gems from the app this is just a few things you can do with this information let's go ahead and start a new sheet let's copy our original again start a whole entire new sheet and we'll narrow it down to just the year of 2022 in case people want to use that information to file their taxes once again I'm gonna copy that information from my original and paste it into a new spreadsheet and we'll title this spreadsheet VV 2022 alright so for this spreadsheet we only want our transactions from the year of 2022 and if you retrieve your CSV file over the next couple of days or even weeks, you may have some transactions in 2023 that you're going to want to delete as well. But we're going to go in here to the cutoff of 2022 and delete everything below that so that only the transactions from this year or last year are showing in our VV 2022 spreadsheet. The dates are right here in the A column. You can see right here where this was my first transaction of 2022 and this is my last transaction of 2021. So for this VB 2022 spreadsheet, I'm going to delete everything that was in 2021 or before that. All right, now that we have all those transactions deleted, we got it narrowed down to just all of our transactions on VB for the year of 2022. And there's some more things you can do from here. You can create filters for your buyer category or your seller category to find out all the gems that you spent on NFTs and all the gems that you've made selling NFTs. If you want to make a filter for some of these categories it's a little bit more complicated you're just going to click on the column that you want to make a filter for and then click that filter button and from here you can push this button drop down menu and you'd want to clear all other names and then type in only your name and once you've done that and you click OK that's going to make all the transactions for the purchases that you made as the buyer off the market or even in the store this number though does include payouts so if you were trying to figure out how many gems you spent in the market in the store you'd want to take all those numbers and then take out the payouts because those are not gems that you spent on the market or the store. Another way you can use this data now that you have all of your buys separated here into the E category all the gems that you spent are right here in your C category so what you'd want to do is pick on another random cell and use that same function I showed you before equals SUM click on the button and then just click on that top C category, the whole entire category, and hit enter. And you can see here where it's about 46,000 gems were spent on the market. But that includes those payouts too, so I'd have to subtract that amount. Alright, I'm going to take that filter off of the buyer category. And now I'm going to try to put a filter on the seller category. First you have to remove that buyer category filter. Now I'm going to go to this F column and add a filter to the F column. And that's going to allow me to filter out all the sales I've made on the market this year. So now that I have a filter on there, once again I'm going to click that drop down menu, clear all of these names out and just type in my username. And now once again I have all the sales right here in this category and I can uh, use one of these random cells, use that same function of sum, select the C category for gems, hit enter and you'll get a number there as well. So there's a lot of different information you can gain from getting into your CSV file and importing it into a spreadsheet. When it comes to taxes in America, one thing the NFT tax guy noted was that a big thing for people right now is that they should sell for some losses so that they can offset gains or take up to $3,000 in losses for their taxes. Again, I'm not an accountant, so I'm not going to be giving you that type of financial advice, but I will put this formula up here that was given to me by the NFT tax guy to show how he calculates some of the trades that he makes on the VV app. Another great thing about having this CSV file is that if you have downloaded the VMate app, you can now just sign in to vmate.com and upload that CSV file into your account. And the contents of your vault on the app will be automatically updated. That way you can keep track of the value of your vault and you don't have to worry about manually inputting all of that information yourself. And now with the new format of the CSV files that VV has created, you no longer have to manually input the serial numbers of your comics which was a problem that some people were having with the old CSV files when they imported them into VMate but now that they have this new format you don't have to worry about that anymore the serial numbers for your comics will get imported as well so make sure you guys are downloading that VMate app to help keep track of your vault value and also they're going to be adding a new feature soon that's going to allow you to see all the comics that are on auction on VV at the same time 
the same way that collectible auctions are shown on the VV app. So that's going to be a big advantage for VMate users. And I want to give a big shout out to VMate, a sponsor of my YouTube channel. Alright guys, I hope this information was helpful for you. If you have any more questions about how to format your data in your Google Sheet spreadsheet, then just let me know in the comments and I'll try to get to that and give you an answer. Thanks for watching. See you on the next one. Later.